This video is for someone who is going into his first fight, whether it's a school fight, college fight, or a street fight. Here are a couple of things to expect. You are going to be nervous as hell going into it because that's not something that you usually do. That's same for the guy in front of you. It's going to be one of the scariest things because you are fighting a guy who's trying to take your head off in front of so many people. I assure you one thing, he will be scared too, but all he is doing is acting confident in front of so many people. He is just trying to help himself. So make sure you act confident. Keep your hands up, manage a safe distance from your opponent and tell him, I don't want to fight you, but if you force me, then come on, let's see who is the real fighter. When you do this, you will arise a lot of questions in your opponent's head. He will think whether I should fight this guy or not. This guy is looking confident. Maybe he knows how to fight. Maybe he's going to knock me out. And the final result will be fight not happening and he will walk away. That's a win for you. But if he's angry, he's aggressive and tries to fight you, then here are a couple of tips for you. The first thing is you should know how to make a punch. The right method to make a punch is like this. Don't make a punch like this or like this or this. These are all the wrong methods. This is the right method to make a punch. The second tip is you should know where to punch. Don't punch in the elbow or on the top of the head because you are going to hurt your own hand. You can punch them in the nose, on the eyes, on the chin or on the solar plexus area and cause them the most damage possible. Another thing, almost 95% of the fighters, the first punch that they throw in the street fight is that loaded overhand right hand. Make sure you are not making this mistake. See the distance that this punch has to travel. Your punch will be slow, your opponent can easily see the punch coming. He can defend himself and furthermore he can also counter punch you. So it's always better to throw short straight punches like this. The time it takes to throw that overhand punch, in that amount of time we can throw two straight punches. These punches will be very fast because they have less distance to travel. Guys, another thing, fight on your own circumstances. Fight where you are comfortable. If you are comfortable fighting on the feet, then fight on the feet. If you are comfortable fighting on the ground, then take him on the ground. But be aware of your surroundings at all times. See whether the guy that you are fighting, whether he has got friends there or not. Maybe he got some weapons. So in those situations, it's always better to look for the escape routes. Walk away. It's not good to fight four or five people at once. Your health is the most important tip. Guys, the last tip and perhaps the most important tip above all these is learn boxing. Learn how to fight because we should know the art of fighting. We never know when the fight starts off. So for this purpose, you can visit my YouTube channel where I teach people how to fight, where I teach people how to box. You will learn a lot of tips and nobody is ever going to mess with you again. Guys, that was all for today. Above all, be safe and avoid the fights. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. See you soon in the coming video. God bless.